Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do a super sexy, super fun early 2000s like Playboy Bunny makeup look. These are all the base products I'm using. Um, I love that e.l.f. camo uh, blush. It's so good. This palette is amazing. So I'm going to get right into it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, with the base done off camera, it's just my normal base for my last tutorial. I'm gonna use a transition shade in the eye, and again, I'm doing that pointy sort of look and shape for the eye makeup. Okay, next I'm adding in some black so we can have some fun and get it really, you know, smoky and sexy and dramatic. I'm going to put that just in the inner corner and no further um, so I can get that like elongated, dramatic, uh, smoky eye look and it doesn't drag my face too close together because I like to keep things farther apart. That's just me though. Okay, I know this looks totally crazy, but we're gonna blend the absolute heck out of this one. It's gonna be so blended. Um, I'm just taking the brush with the transition color and I'm blending it in so it meets the outer two thirds of my eye. I do not go into the uh, most inner third because I already did that with the transition shade and I don't think it's necessary. I wanna keep, again, that smokiness really heavily concentrated so it's like super black. Okay, I'm breaking the fourth wall or whatever right now to talk to you about this because this is like an actual ancient artifact. I bought this from iHerb and it came with a doe foot applicator. So to add some glitter to this makeup, I'm gonna use this thing. It's from Physicians Formula and it's like just silver glitter. So I'm gonna take the darkest one for the second darkest one so this one and then put that on the outside see how it goes pick this one Okay, now that I have the lightest and the darkest color on my eye, I'm gonna blend them together with the medium glitter shade and just get it like super sparkly right in the middle of my eye. With the little doe foot, I love how vintage this is. It's so fun. It makes me feel like I'm 10 years old going through my mom's makeup again and it's super cute. I also love how sparkly it is, but I feel like it just makes the eye look look a little bit more blended and put together and again, extra smoky. <laughs> Clearly there's a lot going on. <laughs> 
it's historically accurate so okay and i'm just gonna do the highlighter from this lovely palette the peri peri uh i think it's like the peach bff palette anyway i love this highlighter and i'm gonna pack it on super super heavy i also went over it with the white shade okay so the way i like to do my eyebrows is if it's a high risk situation where i can't undo it i go in with a little pencil first and I just sketch out the general shape that I want and then I go in with my actual eyebrow product which I'll show you in a second. Okay, taking my soft brown dip brow, that is what I use to create the tail and then I go in with blonde inside here because it always ends up looking darker when it's in your eyebrow in my opinion. So I do dark to light to make it look normal. This spot here, I'm gonna line that in with the blonde this time. And of course, I can't do an eye look without eyeliner, so I did a super cute cat eye off camera. I did it like medium not super super dramatic for me but not super skinny either and of course my favorite mascara ever the benefit roller lash mascara i'm also going to tight line my eyes just to make them extra dark um this one i think is from the brand annabelle i've never used it before but it's a random one i found at the drugstore and it kind of works i wouldn't really recommend it but i'm just going in super heavy and the waterline with this one just so the eyes look super dark These lashes are just your average wet look lashes but i cut them in half and then i glued them bad boys on there um and not really in half that's kind of a lie they're cut um i cut the last third off of it so again we're keeping everything on the outer two thirds and nothing but highlighter in the inner third of my eye um just because i feel like that's flattering for me but i really like these they're super dramatic they're super spiky and full so maybe not the most early 2000s accurate but i think they give that like cutesy um bimbo vibe that I like. This is Max Sore Liner. It's my favorite liner if you're super pale and you want a nice like not too dark but not too light color to overline your lips with. This one is my very favorite. It's so good. I love it. I bought like three of them. And then I think I'm taking the Maybelline Satin Ink in the color Dreamer. Yeah, that's the one. It's the color Dreamer. And then I'm putting some gloss on there just to blend that lip liner with the color we put in the middle and make my lips look super big. Anyway, that was my video. Thanks for watching. That's my like early 2000s semi-alternative, semi-glam, not entirely historically accurate, but kind of historically accurate makeup tutorial. I definitely feel like I prefer my like ultra glam pinup vibe to this but i like dark makeup sometimes i like um super hot bombshell early 2000s makeup it's cute i rock with it anyway have a beautiful day and thank you for subscribing if you subscribe if not please subscribe i'm asking you telepathically right now please okay <laughs> see you later The stars turn out